Good morning, everybody. We're in St. Lavoir, Quebec at the Irving. We're headed home. Got some tracks on my trailer that are being delivered into Oak Bluff, Manitoba. I was hoping to grab some more freight this morning yet on my way there. That freight didn't turn out, didn't work out. So we're just taking these and we're headed back home. So we'll be going through Quebec, meeting up with the 11 up near uh, Cochrane, Ontario there, I believe. And we're taking the 11 through Ontario. Uh, it's a pretty heavy load that I got on. I got about 40,000 pounds of freight on me. So it works out better. It's shorter to go the 11 from where I am now, but that highway has less hills than 17, which is the other highway, which takes us through Northern Ontario to Manitoba, back where I'm from. So let's get out there. Home's not getting any closer, is it? Gotta get these wheels turning.
I gotta say, fuel is very expensive in Ontario and it's expensive in Quebec, but it's the most expensive in Quebec. You don't like, you, you shouldn't buy fuel in Quebec if you don't have to. So we're only gonna get what we need. Just fill up one side. Proceed to the highlighted route. Hold on, Karen. So I just put in 195 liters, just filled up my driver's side tank. I was about 51 and a half gallons. That should get me to Cochrane, Ontario, to the Petro Pass there. Fuel price for me here was a dollar 73, right? Is that what I wrote down? Dollar 73 uh, per liter. In Ontario, it's dollar 64 per liter. And I believe in Manitoba, it's around a dollar 30, even cheaper. So the plan is fuel up just enough here to make sure I have more than enough to get to Cochrane, Ontario. I'll fuel up there completely. And then it's a long jaunt all the way to uh, Petro Pass at Deacon's Corner. I think that's where I'm gonna fuel up next. That'll be a full fill up there. I think that's my best option to spend the least amount of money in fuel getting there. I might change my mind yet, but that's the plan for now. So remember, plan for the plan to change, but plan for the plan to also take course. Plan for everything. Or just be open to the plans changing. How about that? That's way easier than planning for everything. Just be open to the idea that plans will probably change. I could have fueled up at the Irving, but it was more expensive there. I just realized, because I was sort of thinking in my mind yesterday that on the way home I'd go through Ottawa and take the 17 through. I looked, uh, took a little closer of a look at it today and realized that uh, it's faster, shorter, if I take the 11 and then go through the countryside of Quebec a little bit, north of Montreal. I was mentioning it yesterday or the day before that Quebec has like different shapes for their lights so that colorblind people can understand the traffic lights. These ones here, they have them sideways and the red lights, there's two of them on either side. You'll see them once we drive under them if you can't see them now, they're a little far away yet. But the red ones are squares, the yellow is a diamond and the green is a circle. Or in this case, it's an arrow.
we are. We're in Quebec. <laughs> I didn't look before I got out and started talking to you. One second. Grand Ramus, Quebec. My battery was dying in the camera anyway, so I had to come back in the front. Grand Ramus, Quebec. There's a little truck stop here on 117. We're headed up towards Ontario. Stopped out here to check on these tracks back here. Make sure everything is still good and tight. Can you believe it? Like just these six pieces here? Almost a full load. I had all this space back here. I was so hoping to put something on here. I could put up to another 11,000 pounds back here. Uh, there's just nothing available to pick up. So it is what it is. I'm gonna keep on trucking home. I should be home. Well, I'll be home day after tomorrow. I'm filming this on a Wednesday. So all day into the night tonight yet. I have another eight and a half hours I can drive yet. I want to get into Northern Ontario. I'd like to get past Capus Casing to Hearst. I don't know if that's going to happen. I'd like to get to Capus Casing if possible. We'll see if that'll happen or not. We'll see how far we get. As far as we can today and then tomorrow will be another completely full day of 13 hours of driving or close to it. And then we might have a little bit left to do on the Friday morning. Get these off my trailer early as we can Friday morning. Bring this trailer back to our yard and then I can go to my shop and go home and enjoy a good weekend at home. The IVF process is in full swing now for Brit. I'll wait till I'm at home to talk about it more with her because she can describe things a lot better than I can since it is uh, her that is mostly affected by this whole entire thing. Uh, we've been through it once before already. I should reword that. She's been through this. It's it's really tough on a woman's body to go through IVF. Uh, that's in vitro fertilization. So uh, she'll need all the good thoughts, encouragement, and prayers if you guys pray. Uh, her body's got to go through quite a bit in the next little bit here. We're doing another egg retrieval. I keep saying we. You guys know what I mean, though. She's doing another egg retrieval. And uh, we're seeing how many more... Uh, embryos we can get. We still have one embryo in the freezer that we can use from the last time. We want to get a couple more before uh, our bodies get too old and nature tells us that it's time to stop. Time to stop trying. <laughs> Not going to happen. So once we get these uh, embryos, once they get fertilized, uh, then we send them off for genetic testing. And then once they get back, we put them in the freezer. We're hoping to get, well, we'd be happy with just a couple more, one more even, but even if this doesn't work out, you know, we have Theo and uh, we're very happy and thankful for what we already have. But for those of you new to the channel, we went through IVF last year. You can, you can go through my uh, 2022 and 2023 videos in my playlists and see all the, all the stuff we went through. I should probably put it in its own playlist, all the different, go through my home time list that you'll see much more in my home time. That's where I put because all this happens while I'm at home, right? For the most part. So if you go through my home time vlogs, you'll be able to see everything that we went through. And i got to go through it again. You know, we have unexplained infertility. She can still, obviously we have Theo. We can have kids. But the doctors can't explain why it's not hap happening naturally. We do everything right. We do everything we have to do and it doesn't happen naturally. So uh, we've had to go through this process. So she's getting ready for that. She's got her uh, first ultrasound, I believe tomorrow the day after I'm filming this and uh, things are getting underway we're hoping that uh, maybe by this time next year we can have two babies two kids we'll see what happens maybe we'll have two kids and uh, be thinking about starting on the third I don't know we would like to have three or four but just one at a time we're very happy just having Theo if that's all we get that, that's fine too we're a happy little family but we'd like to keep trying for three or four if we can. We'll see what happens. Let's get back to trucking though. That's just a little bit of a sneak peek of what's going on at home. Since I was talking about going home, that's why I sort of went into that. Let's get back on the road. Break time's over. Buckle myself up so I don't fall out. And get back out there. That's a 
good break. I didn't really need one yet, but we took it anyway. It's a little two-lane road up here. This is Highway 117. It's a little bit of a shortcut. I didn't have to go through Ottawa this way.
I just put in 556 liters. My tanks are full. It was a lot cheaper here than uh, in Quebec, so that's why we fueled here. We fueled just enough there to get here. I still had quarter tanks when I got to here to Cochrane. Got a little over two hours left on my clock. I think I can make it to Hearst, Ontario yet. So we're gonna get there and from Hearst, if the weather is good and everything just works perfect tomorrow, I might be able to get there uh, close to my destination tomorrow night and then I can unload in the morning. That's the plan. I'm getting tired, but uh, not too tired yet. I might run in there quickly into the store and grab one last coffee or something or snack just to get me through the last two hours. Looks like the highway is nice and quiet. I like that. Right there, straight out in front of us. 